What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now Today we've got the third ODI between Australia and the West Indies. I didn't review um, I didn't review the second ODI because we we got beaten by a lot. It was embarrassing. It was a shit game Shit game. Didn't want to review it. If you just wanted to watch a 15 <clears throat> Pardon me, a 15 minute video of me just swearing at the Australian lineup, then that would have been a good video. But look, it probably would have been deleted by YouTube by um, use of abuse. So look, I decided not to upload that one. Um, or not to record it anyway. But we are here. We win the series 2 1. We win by six wickets. Um, as I'm re currently recording this review, um, the game finished about five minutes ago. So I'm fresh off it. I'm fresh off the game, just finishing. Uh, player of the series, big boy Mitchell Stark. He bowled incredible um, this ODI series. Class is permanent, never right off a champion. He's one of the Australia's best bowlers in this generation. He's one of the best bowlers in this generation, not just Australian. He's a legendary bowler, and I think some people need to start respecting Mitchell Stark um, because we're always trying to ride off Mitchell Stark. We're always saying... Oh, he's got to retire now. Oh, his time's done. Oh, he should go and do this. Oh, he's, you know, go and play golf. No, don't go and play golf, Mitchell. We need you playing Australian cricket for the next three to four fucking years. I think Mitchell Stark has seriously got two to three to even four more good years in Australian cricket. Maybe not test cricket, but he'll definitely provide a lot at T20 level um, and ODI for the future again. Um, legendary. Player of the match, Ashton Agar, 2 for 31 off 10 and 19 not out off 33. Well, well deserved. You know, I do like Ashton Agar. Um, yeah, I like Ashton Agar. I like Wes Agar. I like them both. Um, but here we go. West Indies, of course, batted first. Evan Lewis. I mean, to me, it shows how bad of a collapse the West Indies had. Um, when your opening batsman only scores 55 and he's not out... That just shows how bad of a collapse they have had. Um, a great, you know, all credit should go to Australia because we bow, uh, we bowled well, we fielded well. Um, so we just looked on. We looked like a, an Australian team that wanted to win, which we didn't look like that during the T20 series. It looked like a just a who cares series. But this ODI game, we looked like we were like, nah, boys, lift. We're winning today. And we did. Um, Shy Hope, 14 off 35. Shimron Hetmeyer, 6 off 10. Darren Bravo, 18. Uh, Nikki Puran, 3. Um, Kieran Pollard, 11. Jason Holder, 5. Alzari Joseph, 15. Hayden Walsh Jr. Um, Hosein um, and Cotchell Bowlers. No one cares about what they did with the bat. Here we go. Into the bowlers. Mitchell Stark. You know, Mitchell Stark was probably unlucky not to get man of the match, to be honest. Um, I mean, he got Cottrell out. He got... Uh, oh. He kind of got some tail enders out, actually, so never mind. Who did Agar get out again? Bravo and Shy Hope. Those are some big wickets, so fair enough. Um, but Mitchell Stark, 3 for 43 off 9. Um, Joshy Hazelwood, very economical off his 8. 2 for 18 um, off 8. Big boy Ashton Agar, 2 for 31 off 10. And Ashton Turner. I thought this man was done bowling for the rest of his career. He hadn't bowled since 1932, back in the day for the Perth Scorchers. And all of a sudden, he's bowling again. And I'll tell you why he's bowling again. Because he's saying, you know what? I can't just make the Australian T20 World Cup squad as a batsman. I also need to bring some as a bowler. And who he's competing with is this man right here. The, there's only room for one of these two, in my opinion, in the lineup. The T20 World Cup lineup. And at the moment, I'm probably leaning towards Ashton Agar. Um, I mean, he's been in, he's been in on the big stage uh, before. Um, obviously, he's been in you know tests um, at Lords, packed out um, Ashes series. He's been a part of some big matches for Australia, so I'd probably be leaning towards Agar um, at the moment. And then Zampa, our best spinner um, in white ball cricket, two for twenty nine off ten. If you had any hope, <clears throat> I just woke up. That's why I sound like shit, by the way. Um, I do not have the row row, obviously not, but just maybe I have a cold. I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. But um, yeah, if you had any hope for the uh, Gaz Nathan Lyon to um, 
to make the T20 World Cup squad, it's uh, it's not happening. Uh, even Mitchell Swepson's probably in before him, which is unfortunate because I do love Nathan Lyon. Um, and he has bowled well in T20s for the Sydney Sixers before. Um, but look, I, Zampa is, you know, he's by far our better, our better spinner. To the batting lineup. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the batting lineup and how they've done my man, Moses on Reeks, dirty. Okay, look. One or four? Not great. It's not great, Moses. Look, you, you're upsetting me, to be honest. You're really upsetting me. You know how much I love you, Moses, but... Oh, boy. One one run? That's You've hit the ball once, and you've run once? You couldn't hit it once more? <laughs> Moses. I mean, why is he opening, to be honest? He's never opened in his whole career. I don't know what they were thinking doing. Enrique is not an opener. He's a number four, or a number three, or a number five. Put him in those positions. Um, Josh Phillippe, 10 off 23. I mean, he's still young. Um, but no, he does not have a position in the World Cup squad at all. Alex Carey, his um, third game as skipper. He's, he's had a very good series. Um, his first go around as, uh, as the uh, captain, 35 off 50. Um, Mitchell Marsh, Jesus Christ, I'm leaking out the nose. Oh, boy. I think I have a cold. <clears throat> oh, boy. I've suddenly woken up with a cold. Um, I don't have any tissues around, so just ignore me. Um, wiping my nose, if you see that. Um, where were we? Jace. I'll edit that out anyway, don't worry. Best editor on YouTube. Um, Mitchell Marsh, 29 off 21. Uh, we like that. Obviously, Kerry, as I said. Not out, Matty Wade. Now, this is where I prefer Matty Wade. ODIs, I prefer Matty Wade to be a number five, number six. But T20, he should be an opener. Um... Just my opinion, but he batted extremely well there. Ashton Agar, also 19 off 33. Um, and I mean, look at the batting power we still had to come. Turner, Christian, Stark, Zampa can all have a swing with the bat. Um, have a look at the West Indies bowlers. No one did anything impressive, so no one cares about that. But hey, that is going to cap it off. Australia finished their West Indies tour with an ODI series win. I mean, after losing the, the T20 series 4-1, I was ready to fucking... Look, I was ready to call the, the Indian nation hotlines and go and get my visa and just officially become a citizen of India um, after the embarrassing losses from Australia. But and then I said, you know what? You know what? We'll give them another chance. And they came back. You love to see that from the Aussie boys. Um, I don't think we have any series... Coming up anytime soon. I think that's it for Australia. Um, until I think we might play Bangladesh. No, I think we play Bangladesh. Um, <clears throat> Bangladesh. I think we play Bangladesh in a T20s. Uh, here we go. Yeah. So our next games are third of August. Is August after July? Wait, hold on. June, July. Oh, oh that's quick as. Are we playing it in Bangladesh? Where are we playing this? Yeah, in Bangladesh. So that's going to be interesting. It's going to start at 10 p.m. my time. Where are we? I tell you what, I'm normally in bed at that time. They're asking a lot from me, but I'll be up. Um, the squad, it looks like the exact same squad that we had in the West Indies, which is a little bit disappointing. Nathan Alice is there. Awesome. Tanvir Sanger. I do love Tanvir Sanger. It's good to see him in there. Nathan Alice. Is, wait, is Zampa still in there? Yeah, okay, good. I was going to say, we can't be going into this. Five T20s without Adam Zampa. We'll be in fucking all sorts. But hey, I guess that's what's up next for Australia. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be fun to watch. Bangladesh are a decent side. Um, they currently... Did they beat Zimbabwe in that series? Um, I know it finished the other day. Let me have a look. I know it was one all um, in the series, and I didn't, I didn't watch the third match. Oh, it was close. Wow. I mean, well done to Bangladesh. You know what? Since we're here, I just want to quickly check out Saka, Shakib al Hassan, uh, Mamadoula. Okay. Shamim Hossein. Uh, who bowled well for them? Uh, Safadouin, Isla, uh, Shakib al Hassan. 
And Saka again. I mean, Saka's the man we have to watch out for. Same with the Shakiba Hassan. Um, <clears throat> but hey, I, I just thought, you know, I actually just kind of wanted to check that out. Um, I hope no one minded, you know. You got two reviews in one. There you go. <laughs> but hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.